Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss concept overview and examples of conditional probability. So let us first discuss definition of conditional probability. Conditional probability is defined as follows. The probability that an event A will occur is called conditional probability if we know that the outcome or event B has already occurred. This is conditional probability and this conditional probability is denoted by P of A by B. Note that A is the event whose probability we wanted to find and B is the event or outcome which is already occurred. And usually P of A by B is given by P of A intersection B upon P of B. That is probability of A intersection B upon probability of B. Little bit rearrangement of this can give us probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of B into probability of A by B. Note that here A and B are dependent events. So if A and B are independent events, that means occurrence of one event does not affect the occurrence of other event, then in that case, probability of A by B is simply probability of A because it is unaffected by occurrence of B. Therefore, in that case, probability of A intersection B is given by probability of B into probability of A. Now, let us see examples based on this concept. Here, we are given that a card is drawn at random from a standard deck of cards and we are asked that what is the probability that the card drawn is a face card given that it is a red card. Let us see the solution part. First of all, we will note down the sample space and n of s. Since a single card is drawn from the standard deck of cards, this task can be done in 52 C1 ways because a standard deck of cards consists of 52 cards. So out of 52 cards, one card can be chosen in 52 C1 ways. So sample space S will consist of all the possible cards that is 52 cards. Therefore N of S will be equal to 52. Now let us define the event whose probability we wanted to find out. Here we are asked to find the probability that the card drawn is a face card. So let us define event A that the card selected is a face card. And we know that there are total 12 face cards. 4 of Jack, 4 of Queen and 4 of King. Therefore N of A is 12. Now let us define the event which is already occurred. So it is given that the card selected is a red card. So let us define event B that the selected card is a red card. Since there are 26 red cards in a deck of cards, N of B will be equal to 26. Now let us find what is A intersection B. Here A intersection B will be the event that the selected card is face card as well as red card. And we know that there are six face cards which are red in color. Two of Jack, two of Queen and two of King. Therefore, N of A intersection B is six. Now let us find out the probability that the card drawn is a face card given that it is a red card. So it is denoted by P of A by B. P of A by B here means probability that the card selected is a face card given that it is a red card and by conditional probability formula p of a by b is p of a intersection b upon p of b p of a intersection b is n of a intersection b upon n of s so it is 6 by 52 and p of b is n of b upon n of s so it is 26 upon 52 this 52, 52 will get cancelled. So we will left with 6 upon 26, which further can be reduced to 
थ्री बाय थर्टीन आई होप गाइज यू अंडरस्टूड दिस सोल्यूशन नाउ लेटस प्रोसीड फॉर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी आर गिवन दैट अ फैमिली हैज टू चिल्ड्रन गिवन दैट वन ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन इज अ बॉय एंड वी आर आज टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द अदर चाइल्ड इज अ गर्ल लेट एस सीट सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील नोट डाउन द सैम्पल स्पेस इन सैम्पल स्पेस we will note down the all possible combinations of a girl and a boy child in a two children family so a two children family can have both girls both boys first girl second boy or first boy second girl so these are the only possibilities for two children family therefore clearly n of s is 4 now we define the events whose probability we wanted to find out and which is already occurred so let us define event a that the other child is a girl now let us define event b that the first child or one of the child is a boy now look at the sample space here i can see three outcomes favoring to this event b where one of the child is boy then clearly n of b is 3 now let us define a intersection b A intersection B is the event that the one child is girl and the other child is a boy. Then clearly there are only two outcomes favoring A intersection B. That is G B and B G. Therefore, n of A intersection B is two. Now let us define probability that the other child is girl given that one of the child is boy. then it is denoted by p of a by b and by conditional probability it is given by p of a intersection b upon p of b p of a intersection b is n of a intersection b upon n of s so it is 2 by 4 and p of b is n of b upon n of s so it is 3 by 4 when this 4 4 will get cancel we will left with 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is the probability that the other child is a girl given that one of the child is a boy i hope guys you understood this solution now let us proceed for next example here we are given that a box of 25 tiles contains two yellow square tiles three yellow rectangular tiles four blue square tiles and eight blue rectangular tiles four green square tiles and four green rectangular tiles suppose that a contractor randomly takes one tile from the box we are asked to find the probability that the tile is blue given that it is a square let us see its solution first we note down the sample space since a box contains 25 tiles the sample space will take all these 25 tiles in it so n of s is clearly 25 now let us define events let a be the event that the tile taken is blue and in this box there are four blue square tiles and eight blue rectangular tiles so together there are 12 blue tiles in this box so n of a will be 12 now let us define event b that the tile taken is a square and since in this box there are two yellow square tiles four blue square tiles and four green square tiles so all together we will have 10 square tiles therefore n of b is 10 now let us define event a intersection b it is the event that the tile taken is blue and it is a square since we see that in this box there are four blue square tiles so n of a intersection b is obviously 4 now let us find probability that the tile is blue given that it is a square therefore we have to find out probability of a by b as a denotes the tile is blue and b denotes the tile is square therefore we have to find p of a by b 
according to conditional probability p of a by b is given by p of a intersection b upon p of b probability of a intersection b will be n of a intersection b upon n of s that is 4 by 25 and probability of b is n of b upon n of s that is 10 upon 25 so probability of a intersection b will be 4 by 10 that is 2 by 5 i hope guys you understood this answer now let us proceed with next example here it is given that if a fair die is rolled twice we are asked to observe the numbers that face up and we are asked to find the probability that the sum of the numbers is 9 given that the first number is 4. Let us proceed for solution. First of all, we will note down the sample space. Since we are rolling a die twice, we will have outcomes of the type 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 up to 6, 6. So sample space will have these 36 outcomes. Therefore, n of s is clearly 36. Now let us define events. First we define the event whose probability we have to find. We have to find the probability that the sum of the numbers is 9. So let us define A be the event that the sum of the numbers is 9. Clearly event A will be favored by the outcomes of the type 6, 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, 6 because in this outcomes only, we are getting numbers whose sum is 9. Therefore, n of a is clearly 4. Now we define the event which is already occurred. Here, given that it is the event where the first number is 4. So let us define b be the event that the first number is 4. Then b will be favored by the outcomes 4, 1, 4, 2 up to 4, 6. So these are the events where number 4 occurs first. Therefore, n of b is clearly 6. Now let us define event A intersection B. The A intersection B is the event that the sum of the numbers is 9 and the first number is 4. So it is intersection of this and this set. So look for the outcome which is common in both A and B. I see it is only 4, 5. Therefore, n of a intersection b is 1. Now let us find the conditional probability that the sum of the numbers is 9 given that the first number is 4. That is we have to find probability of a by b. According to conditional probability formula, p of a by b is p of a intersection b upon p of b. And probability of a intersection b is n of a intersection b upon n of s that is 1 by 36 and p of b that is probability of b is n of b upon n of s that is 6 upon 36. After cancelling these 36 we will left with answer 1 by 6. So probability that the sum of the numbers is 9 given that the first number is 4 is 1 by 6. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now let us go ahead for next example. Here we are given that if a fair die is rolled and we are asked to observe the numbers that face up, we are asked to find probability of getting number less than or equal to 3 given that the face up is an odd number. Let us first understand this example. Here experiment is to roll a fair die and observe the number that face ups. We have to find the probability that the number obtained is less than or equal to 3 and it is given that the number faced up is an odd number. Now let us see its solution. First of all we will note down the sample space. Since this fair die is rolled only once, sample space will consist of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore n of s is 6. Now let us define the event whose probability we have to find. We have to find the probability that the number obtained is less than or equal to 3. Therefore, let A be the event that the number is less than or equal to 3. 
there are only three outcomes in sample space favoring this event A. Therefore, n of A is 3. Now, let us define an event which is already occurred. Here, given that the number phase stop is an odd number. So, we define event B such that the number phase stop is an odd number. From sample space, we see that only outcomes 1, 3 and 5 are favoring to this event B. Therefore, n of B is clearly 3. Now, let us define A intersection B event. A intersection B is the event that the number phase stop is less than or equal to 3 and is an odd number. Now, look for outcomes favorable to A intersection B. That means outcomes that are common in A and B. I see there are only two outcomes common in A and B that is 1 and 3. Therefore, n of A intersection B is 2. Now, let us find the probability of getting number less than or equal to 3 given that the number phase stop is an odd number. Therefore, it is denoted by P of A by B. And we know P of A by B is P of A intersection B upon P of B. P of A intersection B will be N of A intersection B upon N of S that is 2 by 6. And P of B is N of B upon N of S that is 3 by 6. Therefore, P of A by B will be 2 by 3. So, probability that the number obtained is less than or equal to 3 given that the number phase stop is an odd number is 2 by 3. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now it is your turn to solve example. Consider this example as practice example. Its final solution is mentioned over here so that you can tell your answer. Guys please write me in comment box whether you got this solution or not. In my next video, we will see some more examples of this kind. Till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.